be just as good. A little cheaper. quesadillas tonight fam. Just got some onion and pepper so I can make it a little more fancy. Should be pretty tasty. Garden of the Gods, which is about an hour away from where I'm at right now. If you watched my last video, you might remember that I left off about a half an hour away from Garden of the Gods, but there was only one spot to stay in that town, and it was a Walmart. And if you watched my last video, you'll know that uh, I had a bunch of kids that were like, messing with my camper and stuff, throwing rocks at it, and tried to close me in with my tailgate. So the next day, I left there and just came back over to the town of Marion, where I've been just kind of doing some editing, and this town felt a little safer, so. But anyway, I just left somewhat recently on a road trip down here to Southern Illinois. Took off from my hometown up north a little ways, and I've just been camping out, checking out some parks and stuff. But I actually have a little bit of a change of plans. I was gonna be continuing further down south, heading into like Kentucky and stuff, but I think I decided I'm actually gonna head up toward my hometown, because I actually have someone interested in purchasing my first camper build, and I also have a package that's coming from Blue Eddy that I've gotta go back and get. So, yeah, just a little bit of a change of plans. I didn't really have any set in stone plans or anything, so just kind of along for the ride. And real quick, before we really get into the video, I'm actually going to cut right now to future Andrew. <laughs> He's going to let you know a few things about this new AC240 from Blue Eddy. So I will see you guys back on the road. guys so spoiler alert I did make it back to my hometown safely so but I am just gonna unbox this AC 240 really quick show you some features and then I'm gonna have my brother and one of my sisters come out and help me do the durability test so so stay tuned for that So it's a 2400 watt power bank, 1536 watt hours. This thing 
is a beast. Huge shout out to Blue Eddie for sending this to me. The AC240. It's got two USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, three AC outputs, 120 volt, or I guess two AC outputs, and then a 30 amp plug for a camper. 12 volt DC plug. Let's see if it's got some charge in it. Ooh, 63%. It's got a solar panel input, AC parallel port, AC input right there. And then this right here is so you can plug in an expansion battery. The BC210, I believe is what that's called. Got all the charging cables and stuff for it. Cable to plug in a solar panel. Just a couple ways to, to charge it from the wall. So this thing is the world's first IP65 water resistant battery. You can connect two of these AC240s in parallel operation, which will double the output. So it'll be 4,800 watts of output and 3,072 watt hours. So these things can pretty much run whatever you throw at it. And then you can hook up another one to it and be able to run even more. It also has a power lifting mode, which will run at 3600 watts. You can control it from the Blue Eddy app, which you just download on the App Store. It's a free app they have to be able to control all their devices, the refrigerator, portable power stations that I have, which just goes over Bluetooth. So I've used that a couple times while I'm driving and have the solar panels on the roof just to be able to check the wattage, see what I'm inputting while I'm on the road. It also is fast charging. It can go from 0% to 80% in just 45 minutes and then a full charge in 70 minutes. So if you need power right away and you run out, find a way to charge it, then you can get it back up and running pretty quickly. And also if you hook up the solar panels to it, it runs up to 1200 watts worth of solar panels. So if you can get solar hooked up to it, you can also charge it that way. And that's what I'll be doing a lot. So yeah, guys, this thing is gonna be a beast. Thanks so much to Blue Eddie for being willing to send me these products and just support this journey that I've got going on. But let's give this stuff a durability test. For when I'm out hiking on a mountain and I need some power when I'm out in the rain, It's also dust proof. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you want to check out this Blue Eddy AC240, click the link in my description. The release date is tomorrow, April 2nd. So if you need some power, check them out. And thanks again to Blue Eddy. See you guys back on the road. By the way, I uh, this past week it was super windy and I needed my solar panels out there. So I ended up taking some ratchet straps and just strapping them down. And I actually still have them on there right now. Just driving around with them up there and they're doing good. <laughs> it makes it super convenient to not have to constantly be setting them up and taking them back down. I'm about to be going 65 right here, so they're solid. This is the Walmart I was staying at the other day where the kids were messing with my camper. Just a bunch of wild, wild kids on a Friday night. <laughs> anyway guys, we're about 26 minutes away and I cannot wait to get back out into the nature. of 
the gods. This is a sketchy turn right here. Completely blind corner. Sweet. Yeah, so there's a little camping spot up this way that I stayed at the last time I was here called Backpackers Parking Lot. And this was actually the first place I ever did any dispersed camping. So it'll be cool to come back in here and check it out again. So, backpackers, parking lot, and also Indian Point Trail looks super full. Oh my gosh. There's so many people back in there. I was just going to pull in there and show you guys real quick and then head down to the trail though. So, I'm just going to head to the trail first. Head back over there when I'm done hiking. Dang, we are driving into the mountains right here. It's so beautiful. And we made it. Let's get out there and do some exploring, guys. Just gotta get my backpack real quick. Major hill. This one making me want to fall over. Let's do it. It's a beautiful spot. It's like 60 degrees out today, guys. Maybe more like upper 50s, but the highs are in the 60s i'm loving this weather so ready for the cold to just be done with dang yeah last time i was here was like at the end of the winter, the beginning of 2023. So it was a little chilly back then. This is a, a nice change of weather to come back here to. I'm a fan. This is like the most unique part of all of them that I've been to. It's got these massive cliffs like this. The other ones had similar, but not like, not this big. I honestly forgot how beautiful this park was. I love it. Yeah, I just stayed at a spot called Jackson Falls the other day. I would say that's probably my favorite spot that I've camped at on this trip so far, but I think this park kind of blows it out of the water. It goes Garden of the Gods, then Jackson Falls. I mean, just look at it. I think you can understand why. Wow. Yeah, that's where I just was a second ago. Right up there. This is insane, man. Never go hiking out at a spot like this at nighttime. Just to drop off. That is some cool looking rocks. Though those Oh, cool. Now that's a narrow path. So 
Kinda found a path. I don't know if this is a official trail, but I mean, what's more official? A trail that a human made or a trail that has been naturally formed from the mountains? I think a mountain trail is more legit. And these are some straight cliffs right here. Honestly, it would be fun to climb. People having a party down here. Ow. Thorns. <laughs> Can't even walk. Okay. That's not a trail. Gorgeous, guys. Just surrounded. All right. Well, I am probably about to head back up to the truck here in just a few. And we can head to our camping spot. Man, I've been sitting around doing editing too much. This was not a crazy long hike, but it's got me winded. Uh, I've been getting out and doing short little hikes in between edits and if I needed a little break I would just go take a little hike at a trail that was in the town I was staying in but not not this type of hiking I would turn my lights on but uh, I actually just noticed the other day my electrical isn't working for some reason the trucks just not shooting power to my DC to DC charger so I might have to do a little bit of rewiring once I get back into my hometown. I would just do it now, but since I'm gonna be heading back that way, I'll just wait till I get back there. But I got my power bank and uh, some backup lights if I need them. So we're good. Ah, oh, it's a good day for a little nap. Ish. Every single person back there was just staring at the camper. It's one thing about the people that you come across when you're out at parks like this. They all usually are big fans of traveling and obviously hiking, all that type of stuff. So get a lot of cool interactions with people when they see the camper. So that's a fun aspect of doing this. This is a windy road, guys. Man, this looks so packed back in here. I don't even know if there are any spots I could park, but let's find out real quick. Yeah, this is a full lot, man. Yeah, I don't know about this. Let's try to back up into this spot real quick. Just get up out of the way. I can't go back any further, guys. Yeah, I had a feeling this spot was gonna be pretty full, but I didn't think it was gonna be that full. I'm gonna pull right here. I don't have to be all the way 
back in the lot to camp. Don't want to block anybody in though. That should be good, I think. Let me get out and make sure real quick. Might want to back up a little bit. I think we can make it work. All right, guys. I'm about to grab my water. Go check out these trails. Honestly, the spot I was at before, the actual, like, the main part down there, I think it's a lot more scenic and stuff. So, I'm not sure why all of these people are over here instead. Maybe there's a, a spot back there that I didn't see last time that is really cool. I guess we'll find out. Check it out guys, found a pine forest, love it. Somebody's doing some burning. Hopefully. This is definitely a good place to have for my last stop of this road trip. Save the best for last, that's for sure. <laughs> Love it. Guys, I just spotted a lizard. There's no way we have lizards down here. <gasps> right there, look. Look at it. Where you going, buddy? Can't get away from me. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh my gosh, where'd it go? This probably up my pant leg. I didn't honestly know we have lizards down here. I've never seen any before. Look at this though, guys. I just found a massive cave. A legitimate cave this time. <laughs> Hello? This would honestly be a really neat spot to camp. <laughs> if you were into cave camping. It's honestly kind of creepy. Because I can't really see in the corners. There's a... Pretty neat, guys. Didn't expect to find a whole cave like this. So pretty. I'm gonna head back to the truck, I think. Just chill out for a bit before I make some dinner. So. I'm excited to see where I can head to next, guys. Cause this has been a super fun road trip. But I'm a fan of kind of flying by the seat of my pants. 
I'm just a spur of the moment type of guy. So I was excited to keep going and stuff down this way, but excited to see what I can do next. I'm gonna probably be heading back toward my hometown and potentially helping my dad build some garages and stuff just to help get some money put together. But during that time, I'm gonna try to just bring you guys along with me, camp out around town, get out, do some hiking, cooking, all that good stuff. I'll probably try to bring you guys along with me maybe for some of the garage builds if we end up doing that. But anyway, I'm just going on and on, but just about back, so. What's up guys? So I was laying down for a bit and decided I wanted to go on another little hike. So I am on my way back to the camper now though because it is just about four o'clock. I'm ready to make some dinner. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Yeah, there's a lot of spaces and stuff now. I wouldn't mind being in like one of these little tucked away spots. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pull over here. Might as well. Rather be in an official spot than just on the side of the road. I am ready for dinner, so let's get to cooking. I'm gonna cook out on the back. Whoa, that scared me. I'm gonna cook out on my tailgate. It's too beautiful not to. Propane canister isn't super full, so hopefully I have enough. That would suck. I need tortillas, my seasoning. Cutting board, a knife, spatula, and a pan. Got some beef, onion, pepper, and some cheese. These are gonna be some uh, a little more fancy quesadillas than I usually do. I don't usually put onion or pepper in it, but I was like, man, that sounds really good. So that's what we're going to do today. All right. Should be good. I'm going to cook the onion and the pepper real quick and then cook the beef. Mix it in with the onion and the pepper and put the quesadillas together. I wanted to make something easy tonight, but also real tasty. So that's why I chose quesadillas. So simple, but so good. And you know you're hungry when the onions are smelling amazing. <laughs> it smells like a Subway sandwich. Oh wow guys, look. There's people coming up in, uh, on horses and they're talking about my camper. <laughs> That's cool. I would love to do some horseback riding. Hello. Hi, how are you guys? Hey. Were you parked at Marion? I was, I thought I heard you say. 
Yeah, we saw you. Did you really? We stopped at Cracker Barrel here a few weeks ago. Okay, yeah. And we saw the vehicle there in Cracker Barrel parking lot. So do you just travel everywhere and just film where you've been? Pretty much, yeah. I uh, I have a YouTube channel where I I built We're this camper. We're on YouTube right now, aren't we? If you want to be, I don't have I to put it, it in. It looks like a good morning. <laughs> Want to sit on the horse for YouTube? Sure, I'm down to try. Have you, have you, you, hey, you can be on Annie. Right over here is the cathedral. It's just across the road here. Oh, right really? There. Yeah, it's right okay. there. Okay. Can we film you? Share it. Go okay, for it. Okay, get it recording. It's recording already. Oh, of course. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got the range? You don't have to hold her tight at all because she'll follow me. Yeah. Okay. And then say, Yahoo! Let's yeah. go. Okay, Audrey, we're going to the cathedral. <laughs> all right, see you guys later. Hallelujah. Here we go. I'm riding the bike. Uh, cameraman winded. <laughs> <laughs> You want your voice back? No. Oh. <laughs> it's up to you. You make the call. There you go. I'll let you take it. All right. I appreciate that. That was fun. Just Damn. took him away from us. <laughs> yeah, we did, didn't we? That's okay. Yeah. Though. That was that was an experience. I better not say. That's cool. What was your name? Audrey. Audrey Andrew. Nice to meet you. Hey, team. Hey, team. <laughs> My channel is Andrew Ryan POV. If you guys want to check it out, Andrew Ryan POV. Ryan, P -O -D. P -O -V. P -O -V. V as in boy. V as in v. point of view is what it stands for. V O B as in boy. No B. No, B. P -P like point of. Well, thank you guys. That was awesome. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you too. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. That was so cool. <laughs> I was not expecting them to offer me a ride on the horse. Oh, that was cool, guys. The last time I rode a horse, I was probably like six or seven. So, <laughs> that was so cool. Gotta love friendly people like that. Oh, that was fun. Oh, I left my keys here too. Yeah, probably, probably good that I didn't keep going. Pepper popped up. <laughs> Let's get this pepper chopped up. That's what I meant to say. By the way, this is just used oil. I used it like one time, so that's why it's dark. Let's 
give it just a quick taste test. Oh, that camera is falling, isn't it? Oh, come on. Cheers. I was looking for a little bigger tortillas, but these were the only ones they had. Just uh, small, but that's okay. Figured I'd make some small quesadillas and eat more of them. So no complaints from me. Just want a good layer of cheese on the bottom. About halfway up the tortilla. And then, a good scoop of beef. And then put another layer of cheese on the top. There we go. The tortilla is sticking to the plate. Oh, no. We're good. We'll do two more. Might not eat all of them. But... Well, that pan was not very hot because the flame was just getting blown around, so taking a little longer than they usually do. But typically, you want to get them off pretty quick because those tortillas cook fast. Mm. Now that is what I'm talking about. Yes. I also like to uh, do a little bit of this action right here. Just flip it up on the end. Just get that whole outside crisped up. Don't want to leave any side untouched. Looks good to me. Cheers, guys. Yeet. Just kidding. <laughs> That's really good. Almost tossed some meat out when I did that. The peppers and the onions could have been a little bit more seasoned, but that is such a good flavor. This one is probably almost, I was going to say, it's probably getting overcooked, but yum. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to eat all four of them. Those are some girthy quesadillas. Oh, see? Sometimes they just go, man. Should have known. There's no breeze. All right, I'm gonna call that one good. Yeah, there's no way I'm putting down four of these bad boys. Something about that that's just so satisfying. Perfect. I'm gonna clean this up and then we can eat. Ready? There we go. I prefer to dip sour cream actually. I don't know why I just coated the whole thing with it. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think they got better by sitting somehow. Maybe it was the anticipation. There we go. Mm-hmm. Man, such a beautiful day, fam. Beautiful. I'm never gonna make a quesadilla again without onions and peppers. That's so good.
Cause I got a feeling it's okay Yeah, we went to a garden of the gods And we saw those cliffs all day Yeah, I got a feeling it's a good day I didn't really think we were gonna get much of a sunset, but I might go back to the truck and grab my scooter and just scoot on over to the actual main attraction and just go watch the sunset real quick. Oh, there's no way. I don't know if you guys can see that little sign over there. There's somebody in their car, so I don't wanna encroach on their space, but it says no overnight camping. It doesn't say that over here though, so. I haven't pulled this thing out in a minute. I haven't ridden this thing since I was in Chicago on the road trip I took up there. So it's been quite a while. this thing out more often. It's all fun. <laughs> Wrong way. I know. Woo. We're gonna be walking it. Hey. Hi, how are you? Excuse me. Yeah. Dang. This is the scooter parking spot right here. <laughs> Got my eyes all watery, guys. <laughs> That was fun though. <laughs> oh, just the end of it. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm glad I came this way. So pretty, man. Let's get some lights on in here. Oh, that's so bright. Eh. Honestly, that's probably good. Just like not right on my face. Those are so bright. Dang. These were my, my main lights 
in my previous camper build since I didn't have electrical. Sweet guys, those things are running off my power bank down here. It was at like zero when I put it in this morning. So I'm surprised it got that much charge being out in the woods like this. Anyway, I'm tired. So I will probably catch up with you guys in the morning and we can head back toward the hometown. This was a good way to end off the trip though. Fun stuff guys. Appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the morning. Peace. morning guys I'm just gonna make a quick cup of coffee and then take off I might run over to the uh, the main attraction over there just take a quick gander before I, before I leave this park see if the uh, sunrise looks pretty over the mountains like I was saying last night the sign out there says no camping but there's quite a few cars out there. I'll look in a second, but there's at least one right out next to me. So it's just kind of weird considering online, it literally says you can camp out here. That's why I didn't have an issue with staying. So beautiful but yeah there's a one two three four five ten cars out here and I'm pretty sure they've been here all night because it was like midnight before I fell asleep and no one else had pulled in at that point and no one had left either so I gotta go use the bathroom too. That's another reason I wanted to come over this way. But let's go check that out real quick and then hit the road. Guys, the clouds and the blue sky like that. Dang. It's so insane. Every time I see it. Cheers, guys. Ow. 
Oh my gosh. I just burnt my tongue so bad. I was not expecting it to be that hot. Okay. I love it. But I think I'm about to take off, guys. I got a lot of editing to do in the next couple days, so I'm just gonna head back into town. Probably post up at a Walmart for a day or two and then go over to the fam's house. Spend my birthday with them. That is the plan. So long, Garden of the Gods. Until next time. drive to get back so I am just gonna hit it and then catch up with you once we're getting back into town probably take you guys with me in this video still to uh, just go, go see the family and surprise them because they don't know I'm coming back yet so this was such a fun trip though guys lucky to have been able to get out and come down this way and I seriously can't wait to see what happens next so long illegal camping spot. We made it guys. I'm just gonna try to find a spot to park and uh, get to editing. And then here in a couple days, I'll catch back up with you guys and we can go over to the fam's house. Say hey to everybody. And I'm probably gonna eat my quesadilla that was left over from yesterday too. Cause I'm getting hungry. to my mom's house. Finally got my video pretty much finished up, so see you guys over there. We made it, guys. I'm gonna park on this other curb so I don't pull right in front of the house. See if I can surprise them. Hey, did somebody order a pizza? <laughs> oh, that's not... Hi. Hey, girl. I was hoping I could surprise you. Hi. Awesome. How are you? Is this an April Fool's? Yeah. You're not no, really I'm here. Not. It's not me. It's my clone. That's awesome. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> you. Your birthday's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. April Fool's. Every, you know, I, every time we go through here. I'm going to surprise Ian. How are you? So was it fun? Yeah. I think I forgot my water bottle. Oh, okay. That's fine. There might be one back here, bro. Bro! <laughs> How's it going? Good! Woo! Did I actually surprise you? Are you good? Nice. There aren't any water bottles back here, though. Sorry. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. There's an open one. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Got him. All right, guys, well, I am going to get off of here and get to editing so I can post this video by tomorrow, the 2nd of April. 
which is actually my birthday too. So appreciate you guys for watching. And yeah, stay tuned for my next adventures. Just got done shooting the Blue Eddy segment, by the way, if you can't tell. Thanks Go watch for it. Thanks for recording it for me. You're welcome. See you guys next time.